Are you planning to buy this gorgeous skin from Melissa? Well then, stop right there, as this might be not be a good time to buy. Yes, you heard me right. I did a lot of research and finally have found out the best way to spend your money and maximize the amount of skins that you can get. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, I'm going to tell you the best ways to spending your money to maximize skins and save your wallet. Let me divide the video into three segments. How to maximize all star, how to maximize promo diamonds and the best way of spending your promo diamonds. First, let's start off with the all star. If you're not aware, the Sparkle Melissa event is already live and it has a lot of exciting rewards. I know your hands are itching and you want to get the skin as soon as you can. Well, don't be like me and fall into a temptation of getting the skin so fast. Let me tell you the best way to get the skin. First, don't get the 599 pass. If you really want to get the skin now, just get the 349 diamond pass. Why, you ask? First of all, if you get the 349 diamond pass, not only are you getting a sweet Melissa skin, but you are also completing all the tasks for the Doni Stars event. The task only asks for 250 diamonds and there's no need to spend 599 diamonds at once. Since you are well within the limit, you have the free tokens from Doning Stars which might just help you get the skin or these sweet records and spawns. Or if you are not in a hurry and would like to save some diamonds, you can get the same 349 diamond pass on the 23rd which is the date the Aspirant Phase 2 will go live. If you haven't drawn in the event yet, you will be getting an unowned epic skin, which is sweet. If you have already drawn an epic skin, that is also sweet. But again, don't buy the painted skin tier. I know it is tempting, but hold yourself. Since you have self-control, your painted skin tier should now be 250 diamonds, which means now you can participate in two or more upcoming hype events tasks which are Moscow's Infernal Whim Lord, which is a lot of sweet skins in its prize pool, and Vexana Twisted Fairy Tale event, which is a skin in a tier of its own. And you for sure are maximizing the maximum amount of skins, while spending the least amount possible. Which path are you going to take? Comment down below. Let's move on to the next segment, which is going to be about how to maximize your promo diamonds. We have already made an in-depth video covering this, Check it out if you want to know everything. Okay. In this video, I'm going to just glance over them so that I can tell you the best way possible to spend your promo diamonds. You get up to 1650 promo diamonds, which is a crazy amount, isn't it? How do you get that much? Well, first you have to log in, in every day and complete these tasks. I know there's one annoying task, but it is okay. Just make some friends oh. once in a while. Kuraza! So if you complete all these tasks every day, you will be able to get 55 promo diamonds every day. The event is going to last for 15 days, which means you will be able to earn 825 diamonds, which is already enough for an epic skin since they will be discounted. And then the next way we have the recharge task for the Infernal Wimlord event which will give you another 800 tokens, which will make the total promo diamonds 1625. Nice. I know, I know, you have to do a 1500 diamonds recharge, but guys, it is honestly worth it. I mean, you are getting a lot of free draws from an event, which features some of the fan favorite skins, and you get 800 promo diamonds. And if you follow the previous All-Star segment properly, you will also have a sick Melissa skin with an epic skin in your inventory. Come on guys, keep your wallets and link to the Kazuki official store ready because if you want to spend your money, this honestly is the best time to do it. So now you have 1625 promo diamonds ready. How are you going to spend it? Which skins are you going to buy? Well, don't worry, Papa Kazuki is also going to help you with that. First and foremost, if you have a severe gambling addiction, <laughs> I advise you to stay nope. away from these recall and chase pets. I'm telling you, unless you are whale and ready to spend loads and loads of money, don't waste your precious promo diamonds on these recalls. Next, if you are looking to buy the skin of Moscow, honestly, go for it. 
But remember, you will need to spend more diamonds on it. 90% of the time, you won't be lucky. So if you really want that Moscow skin, save up from now and hit the Kazuki Fuse store as soon as the event is live. Now let's get into the most responsible way of spending promo diamonds. Buying epic and all-star skins. Okay. They might not be the rarest option, but they are some of the best looking and value for money skins. Even though you have to spend an extra 100 for all-star skin, you should get it. Because the skins have an excellent amount of details on them. And they will be rare as they are going to be limited for the event. Since you followed the guide religiously, you should be having even yeah, more Promo Diamonds left. Which means you get another epic skin. So which one do you get? Well, if you didn't know, limited epics like Roger Cyborg Werewolf, Carrie Gilgirl, and the fan favorite Selena Virus are coming. These skins are good looking with lovely skill effects. If you wanted these skins, grab them. Shut up and take my money! I doubt we will get the same skins again. But if these skins are not for your taste, you can also go for Balman Infernal Warlord. The Tooth Kacha Tidal Overload. Kairi Ice Talon. Lunox Eyes of Eternity. Granger and Silvana Valentine. And finally, Duo Yi Oracle of Soul. All of these skins are worth it, from hero model to skill effect. They are an easy 9 out of 10, so you won't be going wrong if you get any of them. If you're not interested in epic skins, you can stick up on elite, special or even painted skins. Although I don't really recommend it, you can also go for the recalls. So if you follow my guide, you will have Malisa's both normal and painted skins. Since you saved your draws, you will have one or two epic skins from the Aspirants. A special or better skin from the Infernal Wimblord event. One All-Star or two epics from the Promo Diamonds. That's just scratching the surface because I'm excluding all luck. Isn't it a load for 1500 diamonds? So which skins are you aiming for? Will you be buying the old star skins? Are you going to follow the guide? Comment down all the answers below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.